Nigerian filmmakers now screen their movies at prestigious film festivals worldwide, like the new Africa Film Festival taking place at the American Film Institute in Silver Spring, Maryland. One of the filmmakers showing their film is Tosin Otudeko, a screenwriter behind the movie Over the Bridge, a drama that's receiving positive reviews at the screening. Tosin joined me in the studio to talk about the movie and the impact that streaming platforms have had on the global dissemination of Nollywood content. You can't roll with the big fish without swimming the deep end. What inspired me to write it was really, it was really the journey of a character. Um, so a journey of this man who basically crosses over um, the bridge, there's this iconic bridge in Lagos called the Third Mainland Bridge, and it kind of divides two worlds in a sense, um, you know, it, he crosses over on a journey. And um, for me, it was really looking into his life, um, what would make him make that decision, what would make him want to leave his current life, and, um, and what lessons he's learning along the way. On that day, I didn't see misdemeanor. I saw great. When I start off writing, I don't think I'm writing for Nollywood. I think I'm just writing a story. And I think um, I just want to be true to that story's journey. So I'm very much drawn to stories of um, triumph over tragedy, right? So triumph over some form of... Um, I would say, um, inhibiting circumstance. So when people find themselves in a situation that they feel they can't get out of, mm -hmm. what is surrounding that? I'm sorry. I cannot help you for Larry. Cut your losses. Get out. As a screenwriter, the channels that have opened up um, as a result of streaming, as a result of uh, more creative ways of funding, I suppose, and um, different models of funding, I, I believe has um, it um, makes us bolder, mm -hmm. and it actually helps to um, it, it helps me as a screenwriter to, to just to speak for myself to be able to tell the story that I really want to tell. Since the advent of the streamers, what it's done is that it's given um, Nollywood producers the opportunity, so the market, the opportunity to be able to um, find investors for your production because you can see a you can see it returns. Right, so you're having a greater volume of films being made, um, and so um, just a little bit better access. Now, there's still a lot that goes into really building and developing this film industry, and mm. I, so we're just really at the nascent stages of this journey, um, but at least we can start to see a path. Right now, the channels that are opening up are helping us to reach broader audiences. Us reaching broader audiences means that the commercial sort of infrastructure is working. We still have a long way to go, so mm. I wouldn't say that there's enough resources, but at least um, it's, you know, we're on those building blocks. For aspiring screenwriters, I would say start off, you're always told to start off with a story you want to tell. Mm. Um, but also, I would add to that, um, just keep at the story you want to tell, because you're going to encounter obstacles along the way that's going to make you not want to tell that story. It's going to make you want to give up from telling that story, because in a sense, sometimes the task just seems a little bit more overwhelming than you can manage. But if you just keep to the steps and trust the process, um, you will eventually get to the end, that last page, <laughs> your mm. final draft. And yeah, you will see a full picture forming. And that picture can become part of a bigger picture. And it's just the end of a fulfilling journey.